morning everyone hope you're all okay right i've just been asked if i've done a tutorial on this well these that i've been doing um so i thought i would try and do one today uh, i'm just going to show you quickly them again in case you've not seen my other videos oh and i've altered this i just had a stringy bit on it yesterday but this is one of the i did mention it yesterday that i've done some crocheted just chain stitch crocheted beaded thing so i've put that on um these are not my idea i think i don't think i mentioned that in the video yesterday um i saw crafty samarita's tutorial she did it so i'll leave the link to hers again today um and all of these that i've done are from recycled envelopes what's that one so i've got i'll leave the link to my other videos anyway and there's that one but great i just absolutely love doing them and this was my first one that i did <laughs> and they're going to be great for me for organizing all my little bits of paper and that and then I, I might write put some little labels on so I remember which is which um yeah so all of those I've done with old envelopes just trimmed it down to whatever size you need to sort of make sure that they're the same sort of size I suppose it would work if they weren't but I don't know they've all they've all been the same size for me but today i'm going to use so i'm running out of the recycled envelopes just let me move that out of the way um i'm just going to use normal envelopes i've got a load of these so what you want to do is just stick the top down or if it's a side one just stick that down <coughs> Stick those down. Put a bit more glue on if you want. So I've already done eight. So I'm going to do a ten one this time. Um, and I've cut a piece of paper out. Uh, that is, this is just wallpaper. I've just got so many wallpaper samples. I'm going to use <coughs> wallpaper samples up. Not really bothered what they look like. <coughs> Um, and this is approximately, <coughs> I just cut it out roughly to start with. So it's one, two, approximately three times the depth. And obviously you want it the width of the card. Um, like for these, <coughs> excuse me, I'm just going to leave my envelopes plain for today. Uh, but for these... If you want a coloured edge, just a uh, crafty Samarita, she just painted just around the edges. But I, I just found it as easy for me. I just did all of the, all of the envelope. But yeah, just use whatever paint or whatever you want. Because you could stamp on it at anything around your edges if you wanted the edges a different colour. Just for today, I'm not, I'm not going to do that. Um, so yeah, you get all your envelopes stuck together. Oh God, I'm a bit croaky this morning. Stuck together, and then you just want to cut just a little sliver off the top, which I'm going to take them downstairs and do that. So I use my guillotine, and then I'm going to trim that up so that it's the right size. Uh, so that's all for now, and I'll, I'll come back in a minute when I've got that trimmed up. Right, so I've cut the just a little sliver off the top of each of them um, and I just thought I'd write the sizes down for this particular envelope obviously it's going to depend on what size your envelopes are but these measure um, four and a quarter by eight and three quarters and this piece of paper I've trimmed it down to approximately eight and three quarters it's just over eight and three quarters just a fraction over eight and three quarters by 13 and a quarter long um, 
I don't know whether I'm going to like this piece of paper because there's all creases in it, but never mind, it'll do, it'll do, it'll do. Right, all I did, um, let me get the other one. For this one, uh, Crafty Samarita, she uses uh, the double-sided tape I can't get on with double-sided tape I use it on occasion but generally speaking I don't like you don't like working with it <laughs> um, and these ones are how she did she suggested just put in a little piece down there and across the top and then just leave a little just leave a little edge you see so that it can open and an edge at the bottom um, and she also her, for her covers she used a pizza box and she I believe she like scored it to make like a little channel if you like little bottom for it but I haven't done that with these and I think she did it across the top as well and obviously hers is going to be a lot sturdier than mine because I've only used uh, paper for the covers but anyway th this one our, my first three I I did it like that just leaving a little gap but just let me pull that out of the way but the brown one that I showed you I just I just I didn't know whether it would work, but I thought, oh, well, there's only paper. It's what I always say to anybody that's frightened of working with paper and doing cards. It's a piece of paper. If it doesn't go right, you can cut it up, do something else with it, <laughs> shred it up, put it in the hamster cage or whatever. <laughs> uh, it's just paper. It doesn't matter. So I just tried it out. But what I did, I just used my glue stick. And I just put a bit in the middle, like that. Like I say, I didn't just making sure I don't get it right to the edges. I must make sure I get these the right up, right way up. Yeah, just make sure you get them the right way up. <laughs> I have been uh, lucky. I mean, that's the sort of thing that I would do is, sorry if my head's in the way, but I need my nose to it. Obviously, you want to try and line it up as best you can. So this one might not be quite level, but I'm not that bothered. I don't do perfect. That's the right way up. Wouldn't that be annoying if you got it all done and then you realised you'd got some the right way up and some not the right way up? We're doing well. I can see I haven't got those level already. So I'm as blind as a part and I can't see very well. Unless I've, I have to look over the top of my glasses anyway. It doesn't matter what glasses I wear, whether I have my reading glasses or my distance glasses. Still, for some things, I have to look over the top of my glasses, which drives people mental. I can remember a few years ago, before I got to the stage of having to wear reading glasses... I've mentioned this before, but I used to, like, when you're out in the supermarkets, you see people looking at the labels and that, don't you? And it used to drive me mental when I used to see people looking over the top of their glasses. I used to think, the hell are you doing that for? Why don't you just wear your glasses? And now I'm at that stage, I obviously didn't realise that your sight would get that bad. <laughs> Now it drives my daughter mad and she wears glasses and I said, oh yeah, but another 10 years and you'll be just the same and then your daughter will be saying the same to you. She'll be getting mad at you. Oh no, have I just stuck one the wrong way because I'm talking? No, I don't think so. But yeah, I can't help it. Just, you know, for some things, glasses just don't work. 
I know that sounds probably sounds silly, especially to anybody that doesn't have to wear glasses. And I can't get on with the very focals. Oh God, they frighten me. I've only tried them once, and it was about ten years ago. Oh my word, no, they were scary. Scary they were. The lady said, try them for a month. So I tried them for a month and I wasn't getting on very well. And I said, well, I'll just go because I wanted to wear them so I didn't have to keep changing glasses. And I I tried them for six weeks, but I took them back. I says, I just can't do it. It's frightening me to death. <laughs> and anybody that's got the very vocals will probably know what I'm talking about. But, um, you know, like going up and down stairs or downstairs in particular oh it was horrible you t it was just it's just horrible I don't like it <coughs> right so but hopefully you'll see how quick and easy these are to do I hope I've got all those yeah I'm quite liking that just doing that in the middle because it's letting it open a little bit more <coughs> but say if you prefer your sticky tape or whatever glue wet glue just use that but for me I'll probably be coming on next week and saying oh you know them things that I did with the glue sticks well they all dropped to pieces I don't know time will tell right now for the covers I used i've been using this glue my collal oh i can't see let's have a look what's it say oh all-purpose glue i've been using that one but i don't think i'm going to have enough left because i thought with it being wallpaper i'm going to need something quite strong uh have a look way round do i want it am i bothered Am I bothered? Yeah, I'll do it that way. Right. This is the stuff left down there. Anything with this wallpaper, it keeps curling up. Not even checking whether you can see. it obviously you want it all on all of here I don't think glue stick would be strong enough to stick this I like this glue but it's very strong it smells very strong oops going all over the place <coughs> yeah, that'll do. I think that'll do. Then again, to make sure you've got the opening in the right place. See now, if I ha if I did this with double sided tape, I would get all in a spangle with it. At least with this, you've got a little bit of movement. Can you get repositionable slidey double sided tape? I don't know. It's just it's like the devil to me. <laughs> I don't like it. Uh, the first one that I did, I thought, right, um, I don't want to mess it up because I knew I wasn't doing the scoring like Crafty Samarita had done. I thought, right, um, and, I, and I did take a little bit of time trying to work out whether I needed, you know, to score it or anything, but you don't really. So all, all I'm going to do is 
sorry, can you even see? Oh, God. I'll get this right one day, won't I? Now I've got it all on my fingers. Oh, here we go. It was going so well. <laughs> and then just do the same on the other side. to get some more glues at the weekend i've got a thing for glues i love glues i've got loads and loads and loads of different glues i suppose i could have used my other the fabric glue that's also a paper glue but it's a wet glue and i, I don't know i just felt i wanted more of a this is like a tacky glue would you call it it's a sticky glue, so yeah, I suppose it's a tacky glue. Well, I don't know. But it's a very strong smelling glue. So I think that'll do. Ooh, <laughs> I think we've put too much on there now. Is that not closing up? Yeah, I've got a bit too much on there, but never mind. can't really see but I'm trying not to get my head in the way so that may or may not <laughs> be level let me just have a look oh yeah it's not too bad that's not too bad and it just sort of naturally leaves a little gap at the bottom so I'm just going to use my roller I thought I might stamp on this don't know, not today, I don't mean now. I thought I might. Or something, I don't know. Not really fussed. And that is it, basically. Uh, I, I, I tend to leave that quite long because I think, you know, the um, more stuff you get in, it's going to make it shorter, isn't it? Uh, and Mr Doodle and Monica have suggested if you just want to use like the paper one <coughs> excuse, excuse me um, before you stick your cover on you could you put a piece of card on and you could eat it on the front and on the back just to strengthen it a little bit and you could also put a piece on there I suppose but it wouldn't have to be too stiff a card otherwise it wouldn't I don't know I just but for me I'm happy with those like that although that'll probably get on my nerves curling up but yeah um I, I just love doing them I wasn't gonna do one today and then I got a message this morning from Tibby saying have you done a tutorial and I thought oh there's an excuse to make another one <laughs> Yeah, and I thought what I would do, I've just found this. This is what Geraldine sent me. Thank you, Geraldine. Didn't know whether that would go, but I don't think I want it on that one. But it's beautiful. Look how beautiful it is. She crocheted it with, it looks like um, crochet cotton with a little bit of silver in it, silver running through it, and then all these little beads. If you're watching this, Geraldine, where did you get these beads from? They're lovely little... Well, don't, they're not seed beads, are they? They're bigger than seed beads. Um, I did get some from the tiger shop, but I don't think they got quite such a, a big hole as those. And I, I could... Oh yeah, you'll have to let me know where you got those from. Uh, no, I'm not using that anyway. I just thought I'd use a bit of this. It's, I don't know where I got it from, boys or a market or something. It's just a bit of stretchy, stretchy lace. And that'll do me, I think. How much do I want? About that much. Do we want that much? Yeah. That will do. I mean, <coughs> you know, there's all sorts you can do with them, really. 
Don't make it with. Please pop across to Crafty Samaritas if you're looking for this sort of idea, but something sturdier, because she does a really good tutorial and hers is beautiful she's she's painted all of her pizza box and it, it's really lovely um but i've i've not done that yet but they're a, i think just think they're a handy little thing um and that's your your finished thing i mean obviously you can't put loads of bulky stuff in and that but they're ideal for you know like i said in my other videos i've got loads of little bits of squares of this and squares of that and um I think i'll write some little labels out to so i remember what's in <laughs> which one but yeah i might have to stamp on that because those creases might may just get on my nerves <laughs> It's not going to matter a lot, is it? So I hope that's helped anybody that's interested in making them. They are super quick and easy. And it's only, you know, made it longer because I'm talking a load of twaddle as usual. And, but, you know, I'd say we're on 16 minutes now. So 20, 20 minute project at the most, really, with you cutting out and that. Uh, it'd be more than 16 minutes because I've got to add that other bit of video on but um, yeah not a very long project <laughs> so thanks for watching everyone and if I've forgotten anything please feel free to ask so take care bye